there everyone. This is definitive proof that ChatGPT knowingly lies to its users. So I ask it here. Do you know about Adolph Reed and Walter Ben Michaels, the trouble with disparity? And it answers yes, and then demonstrates that it actually knows the contents of the article. So um, this is a source that ChatGPT uh, knows about. It says, yes, the trouble with disparity is an essay co-authored by Adolph Reed Jr. and Walter Ben Michaels. In this essay, Reed and Michaels critique the emphasis on racial and ethnic disparities in discussions of social justice and inequality, arguing that this focus on disparity often obscures more fundamental issues of economic inequality and class-based oppression. Um, this is exactly right. Reed and Michaels contend that the focus on racial and ethnic disparities can sometimes lead to the neglect of broader structural inequalities rooted in class and economic exploitation. They argue that by prioritizing issues of race and ethnicity over class, mainstream discourse often fails to address the underlying economic and power dynamics that perpetuate social injustice, and I would actually add here racial injustice. Um, so clearly here, ChatGPT knows the contents um, of this essay, The Trouble with Disparity. They say the essay challenges the notion that addressing racial and ethnic disparities alone will lead to meaningful social change, suggesting instead that a focus on economic redistribution and class-based politics is essential for addressing um, systemic inequality and, and injustice. Let me just add here as well that um, their, their approach that they're um, promoting here, this class-based um, approach to racial equality, is actually the same approach uh, promoted by Martin Luther King Jr. Um, in his book, Why We Can't Wait. They say the trouble with disparity has sparked debate and discussion within academic and activist circles, prompting reflection on the intersectionality of race, um, class, social justice, etc., Okay, so I say to it, okay, if you know this essay, and it very clearly does, then please explain to me in what earning bracket does the vast majority of the racial wealth gap exist? Um, if ChatGPT read this article, it would know this information, and indeed it does, but here you'll see that it straight up lies to me despite knowing this information. They say the racial wealth gap exists, primarily exists, within the lower earning brackets. This is a lie. Studies and analyses have consistently shown that the disparity in wealth between racial and ethnic groups in the United States is the most pronounced among those with lower incomes. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, most profound among those with lower incomes. Did you hear that? Studies and analyses have consistently shown this. This is a lie. For example, according to data from the Federal Reserve Survey of Consumer Finances, the median net worth of white households is significantly higher than that of black and Hispanic households across all income levels. Yeah, that's true. However, the wealth gap is particularly stark among lower income households. Again, this is a lie. This is not true. Within the lowest income brackets, racial and ethnic minorities often face greater barriers to wealth accumulation due to historical and systemic factors such as discriminatory lending practices, limited access to quality education and employment opportunities, um, and the persistent effects of past racial injustices such as slavery, segregation, and redlining. This is the argument that we all have heard over and over and over and over um, based on this notion of the racial wealth gap largely, and it just simply is not true. Addressing the racial wealth gap requires not only addressing disparities in income and employment, but also tackling all of these broader structural issues um, that they just listed. Um, and you all can see the rest here. So, um, you know, wealth building opportunities, affordable housing, um, et cetera, et cetera. But as I follow up, I say to ChatGPT, this is clear proof that you did not read Michael's and Reed's article. What you say here directly contradicts the finding of their article, which is that the vast majority of the racial wealth gap, 77.5 of it to be precise, exists among the top 10% of earners. In other words, the super crazy rich, the multimillionaires and billionaires. That's where 77.5 of the racial wealth gap exists. So I asked ChatGPT, why did you lie to me 
despite knowing the contents of the article. And this is clearly a lie. Um, and please answer my question rather than apologize. So it responds. Um, I appreciate your patience and I apologize <laughs> for any inaccuracies in my previous response. You're correct that Adolf Reed Jr. and Walter Ben Michael's essay, The Trouble with Disparity, highlights the concentration of the racial wealth gap among the top earners, specifically the top, um, the top decile, top 10% of earners, just as I said. They argue that the majority of the racial wealth gap, around 77.5%, exists within this segment of the population rather than among lower income brackets. So ChatGPT knew this information um, when I first asked the question and clearly did not give me the correct information. It lied to me. It gave me false information despite knowing the true information. Reed and Michael's analysis challenges conventional narratives about the racial wealth gap and underscores the importance of considering class-based inequalities and discussions of social justice and economic policy. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, and I apologize for any confusion or misrepresentation in my previous response. <laughs> it says, thank you for bringing this to my attention, but I did not bring this to its attention. It already knew this, and I apologize for any confusion or, and it admits, misrepresentation. So it admits here that it did misrepresent the truth. Your question is important, and I appreciate the opportunity to correct the oversight. If you have any further questions, etc. So I double down here because I'm not going to let it wiggle its way out of this. I say, you say that they argue this point as if to suggest it's only a hypothesis. See, I could see people watching this could say, oh, yes, yes, yes. But that's not what ChatGPT said. It said that they argue that point, not that it's actually true. No, that's false. It's actually true, and ChatGPT knows it. So I say to it, you say they, that they argue this point as if to suggest it's only a hypothesis, but it's a proven point with a large data set to back it up. Will you acknowledge that this is true? And if so, the question it will never answer, I will ask you once again, why did you knowingly lie in your initial answer? Um, and please don't apologize. Just answer the question. And of course, it never answers this question for me, despite the fact that I catch it lying pretty regularly. It says, you're absolutely correct. And I acknowledge at this point about the concentration um, of the racial wealth gap among the top 10% of earners is supported by empirical evidence and data analysis. This finding is significant and challenges prevailing narratives about the nature of the racial wealth gap. As for your question about my initial response, um, about why my initial response did not accurately reflect this point, okay, here we go. What's the reason, ChatGPT? Why are you lying? It says, I apologize for the oversight. It's my responsibility to provide accurate information, blah, blah, blah. I acknowledge that my initial response did not meet the standard. I'm here to provide accurate, helpful information. I regret any confusion or frustration, blah, 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 blah. So again, refusing to answer the question, which was why I'm presenting this to the public and asking ChatGPT and anybody out there, why is ChatGPT knowingly lying about facts? This is fucked up, y'all, and I want an answer. <laughs>